my song You say you don't really give a fuck I really hope that you know what's up I ain't playing Hi everybody, welcome back or to my channel If you're new to my channel, my name is April Thank you guys for clicking on this video don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell so that way you guys can be notified whenever I do upload. If you guys are just a returning subscriber, thank you guys for coming back. As you guys can tell from the title, today I will be doing a review and get ready with me using a new palette. Well, it's new to me because I haven't tried a palette from this company. It is called Beauty Creations. And I was sent this product from a website called ikatehouse.com. They reached out to me and they wanted me to review this palette and give my honest opinions. And of course I said yes because I love trying new items that I haven't tried before and just seeing how well they work. So now this website, they sell all kinds of brands. They sell products for a dollar, they sell well-known brands like Ardell, NYX, Milani. They sell all kinds of products from nail products to brushes to makeup. Just all kinds of products. You definitely should check them out. And they do also have sales every now and then. So I will leave everything linked down in my description box below. Now the palette that they wanted me to review is from a company called Beauty Creations. It is called Boldier Shadows. Um, I've never tried any of their palettes before. This is the first time that I am actually going to try a palette from them. I have tried liquid lipsticks before from them and I really did enjoy them. It's been a while, so I mean, like I said, I haven't tried any eyeshadows from this company and I really wanted to see what they were all about because I have seen them in a lot of places and a lot of people using them. It is a pretty popular and expensive brand. Okay, so now this palette comes in a sleeve that looks exactly the same as the palette. So now opening up the palette, it does come with a mirror. I don't want to open it up all the way because I don't want to blind you. It does have four shimmer shadows as well as four mattes. So I am going to show you guys swatches of all the shades that are in this palette and then I will be showing you guys how I got this makeup look and then telling you guys my honest opinions at the end. So if you guys want to hear all about this palette and see what it's about, then just keep on watching. So this is what the swatches look like. They are very pigmented and the shimmer shades just look so stunning. That black shadow is very pigmented. It has got to be one of the most pigmented blacks that I currently have. Okay, so now that I have showed you guys the swatches from this palette, I am going to show you guys how I got this look. So if you guys want to see that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I did prime my eye already. I used my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And then to set it, I did use this shade right here. So now the first shade that I am actually going to use, it's going to be this color right here. And I am just going to use that as my transition shade. I barely picked any up and it is very pigmented. So since that brush is a little bit too big, I am just going to go in with another brush just to blend it out. So, so far the pigment is really good on this shadow and it is very easy to blend and I haven't gotten any fallout on my eyes. Okay, so now that I have that shade down, the next shade that I am going to pick up is this shade right here. 
It is a burgundy shade. And I am just going to use that all along the crease and then on the outer half portion of my eye. Okay, so now that I have that down, I am going to pick up a brush that has no product and I am just going to make sure everything is well blended. So now that I have that down, I am going to go in with this shade and use that as my under the eyebrow highlight. Okay, so, so far that is what I have. I know it's not perfect right now, but I am going to cut my crease first. And for that, I am just using my Alley Girl Pro Concealer. So now I am just going to cut half of my crease. So now to blend the edges, I like to use my finger and just pat it and pat over it just to really smoothen it out. The next shade that I am going to go in with is this shimmer shade right here. I am going to pick some up and just spray it with my Mario Badescu Facial Spray and just put that right over. So now that I have that shade down, I'm going to go back in with this shade right here and I am just going to blend in between that shimmer shade and the outer half portion of my eyelid. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go in with this matte black shade from the palette and just picking up a little bit because it is a very, very pigmented black. I'm going to place it just on that very, very corner of my eye. And I barely picked any up and I tapped my brush. And look at how pigmented that is. This is probably one of the best blacks that I own. And just the way it blended out, I hope you guys can tell on camera, the way it just blended out is just amazing to me. I love when blacks blend so well. So I'm going to go in with the burgundy shade again and then go right in the middle in case we lost any of that color. And then I'm just going to make sure that the edges are well blended once again. 
you really do have to take your time because with dark colors you have to make sure that they are very well blended so now for the glitter line that I have where I cut my crease I am going to be using my NYX glam liner Aqualux in the shade glam nude this is what it looks like and now I am just going to draw a line where I cut my crease on half of my eye And then for my inner corner, I am using my Heavy Metal Glitter Liner from Urban Decay. And it is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I am just going to place that on my inner corner of my eye. So now to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade first. And then going in with the burgundy shade and just placing that on three-fourths of my outer eye. And then picking up a little bit of the black, placing that on the very, very outer corner of my eye as well. So now going in with the brush that has no product, I'm going to go in once again and just make sure the edges are very well blended. Okay, so now that I have done most of my eye, I am just going to do my wing liner, put on some mascara and some falsies, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that I have finished off the rest of my eye. And I did also put on my lipstick. I am using the Milani Amore Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fabulous. And I just thought that it went perfectly with this look since it is a bold look. I wanted to do a bold lip as well with it. Okay, so now that I have showed you guys how I got this look, moving on to what I think about this palette. I am going to be honestly truthful with you guys like I always have been. I am not being paid to say anything specific. I am just going to tell you guys what I think about it. So first of all, the shadows are very pigmented and they are very easy to blend and work with. So that is a great plus for me. And I didn't see any fallout on my face at all. Now the palette did have a little bit of kickback, nothing too drastic. It was just very, very minimal. You can use the shades for a very light, natural look as well as a very bold look like this one. Say you're going out one night and you just want to go with a very bold look. This look that I came up with is just perfect for that. And I love that it came with a mirror as well. I mean that's a big plus for me because as you guys saw I was using this mirror to do my eyeshadow and it just came in handy. Now the palette, it looks like a sexy piece of lingerie. Um, I don't... I don't remember what it's called, it just slipped out of my brain, but, and I mean, it is very cute packaging. So I mean, I just thought that it is a great little palette. So you can find this palette on ikatehouse.com. I will leave the links down below in my description box. And it is only $9.99, and I think that is a great price for the variety of shades that you are getting. You are getting... 12 shades they are mattes they are shimmers and they are very pigmented and blend very well so I do recommend this palette and if you guys have tried beauty creation palettes let me know what you guys think of them this is the first time that I am actually trying a palette from beauty creations and after trying this palette I do recommend them I am definitely going to be picking up more of their products because I want to try them if they all perform as well as this palette did, then I will not be disappointed at all. 
So thank you guys for watching and I really appreciate you guys for sticking around. And I know I haven't been posting as much. I have been really busy. I'm trying to catch up as I have said in my previous videos. I am catching up on everybody's channels and I am doing it on my own time. Like I said, I work three jobs and it is very hard to manage. Um, I was sick last week. I was trying to get some videos up, but I got sick and all of my kids got sick. And I got better and I am now feeling like I am getting sick again. So I wasn't going to film today, but I mean, I haven't filmed in a while and I really wanted to get this video out there and share this palette with you guys because I think it is amazing. And I think that it's definitely worth it and you guys should add this to your collection. But thank you guys for sticking around and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit that little notification bell so that way you guys can be notified whenever I do upload. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video.